What went wrong with Samsung's latest update that made the company pause everything right after launch? Samsung recently started rolling out its much-awaited One UI 7.0 update. Built on Android 15 to its newest phones, devices like the Galaxy S24, Galaxy Z Flip 6, and Galaxy Z Fold 6 were among the first to receive it. But right when users thought the wait was finally over, things took a turn. A serious issue surfaced. Some users weren't able to unlock their phones after installing the update. That's not just annoying, it's a big problem. So Samsung hit the brakes and stopped the rollout for everyone. This issue mainly affected users in South Korea, but instead of limiting the pause to just that region, Samsung chose to pause the update globally. That decision made sense from a safety standpoint, but it left many users frustrated, especially those who had been waiting for months. Now, there's good news. According to well-known tech insider Ice Universe, Samsung has already identified and fixed the bug. The company is reportedly restarting the update, beginning with the Galaxy S24 series. This includes the Galaxy S24, Galaxy S24 Plus, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra. The fixed update will now come with a firmware version ending in BUID 9, which is believed to contain the patch for the unlocking issue. At this point, it's still unclear if other models like the Galaxy Z Flip 6, Galaxy Z Fold 6, and the Special Edition Fold will also get the updated version right away. But the S24 series is currently the top priority. The delay in One UI 7.0 had already stretched users' patience. While many other Android phone makers were quicker in pushing out Android 15 updates, Samsung took more time, probably because of the bigger changes introduced in One UI 7. These updates usually bring new features, performance boosts, and improved battery usage, so it's no surprise people were looking forward to it. That's why the sudden pause just a day after launch felt like a huge letdown. It also raised some serious concerns about how Samsung is testing its updates. A bug that locks users out of their phones is not something small. It's the kind of issue that should be caught before the update ever reaches users. When people trust a brand and install a major update, they expect it to work, not cause problems with basic things like unlocking the device. Still, Samsung's quick response shows they're taking things seriously. They paused the update as soon as reports came in, worked fast to find the root of the problem. And now, within a day, the update seems to be back on track, at least for the S24 models. For users who've been waiting, this news brings some relief, but there's still some hesitation. It's always a good idea to back up your data before updating, just in case something unexpected happens again. If One UI 7.0 installs smoothly this time, users can finally enjoy the fresh design changes, smoother performance, and better battery handling that were promised. But what happened here is a clear reminder that even big tech companies can make mistakes. What matters more is how fast and effectively they handle those mistakes. With the rollout starting again, it shouldn't be long before Galaxy S24 users across the globe see the update notification on their screens. As for other devices, we'll have to wait and see when Samsung gives the green light. To stay updated with all the latest Samsung news, fixes, and tips, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Under the hood, the Galaxy S25 Edge runs on the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset. This is the same powerhouse chip found across the entire S25 lineup. Benchmarks suggest it is about 25% faster than last year's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. So, whether you're gaming, editing videos, or multitasking, this phone should handle everything with ease. It also comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage by default. There might be a 512 gigabytes option at launch, but Samsung has not confirmed that yet. And yes, this phone runs Samsung's One UI 7 on top of Android 15, with all the AI-powered features you expect. Speaking of AI, Samsung has integrated Google's Gemini AI, which powers everything from photo editing to real-time language translation. It can even summarize long articles for you in seconds. Imagine skimming through boring reports without actually reading them. That is the future Samsung is promising. Now, let us address the camera situation. In a leaked video, the Galaxy S25 Edge was shown with what appeared to be a 200 megapixel ultra camera on the back. But here is the strange part. The app used to check the specs incorrectly reported it as a 12 megapixel sensor. Nice. This confusion usually happens when software cannot properly read pre-release hardware. Reliable sources confirm that the main sensor will indeed be 200 megapixels paired with a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 10 megapixel telephoto with 3x optical zoom. On the front, there is a 12 megapixel selfie camera 
housed in a tiny punch hole. Samsung is also pushing its Galaxy AI for photography. The phone can automatically adjust lighting, remove unwanted objects from photos, and even enhance low-light shots in, in a world where flagships usually offer 4,800 milliamp hours to 5,000 milliamp hours. This feels like a step backward. Now, Samsung claims that their new battery optimization software and the 4 nanometers Snapdragon 8 Elite chip will make this 4,000 milliamp hours battery perform like a 5,000 milliamp hours one. But let us be honest, real-world usage often tells a different story. If you're a heavy user, expect to reach for that charger by evening. And speaking of charging, the S25 Edge supports 45W fast charging, which can get you from 0 to 70% in about 30 minutes. It also supports 15W wireless charging and 5W reverse wireless charging for your Galaxy Buds or smartwatch. Connectivity-wise, you're getting the latest Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and of course, 5G with carrier aggregation for faster speeds. Samsung has also introduced a smart network switch that automatically moves you between Wi-Fi and cellular, depending on signal strength. No more frustrating dropouts during video calls or downloads. And here is a cool feature, private share. It lets you send files with an expiration timer, so they automatically delete after the recipient views them. Think of it like Snapchat, but for documents and photos. So, when can you get your hands on the Galaxy S25 Edge? Samsung has not officially announced the release date, but industry insiders suggest it will launch in August 2025 alongside the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Watch 8. As for pricing, expect it to start around $1,099 US dollars. That places it right between the base Galaxy S25 and the premium Galaxy S25 Ultra. It is not cheap, but cutting-edge design rarely comes without a premium. So, is the Galaxy S25 Edge worth it? If you love slim, stylish phones and can live with a smaller battery, it might be your perfect match. It offers top-tier performance, stunning cameras, and Samsung's best AI features, all wrapped in a body that feels futuristic. But if battery life is a deal-breaker for you, you might want to wait for next year's models. Rumor has it that Samsung is working on integrating silicon batteries that could offer 30% more capacity without increasing thickness. What do you think? Is the slim design worth the battery trade-off? Would you choose the Galaxy S25 Edge over an iPhone 17 Air? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let us get the debate started. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech updates, and turn on notifications so you never miss the latest news. See you in the next one.